This video explains how to change the default time zone in R. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So if we want to get the current system time, we can use the sysTime function, as you can see in line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the R Studio console that the current date, so the 10th of June, 2022, the time, so currently it's 6 p.m. in the evening, and the current time zone, so in my case, CEST is returned. I am located in Germany, so for that reason, this is my current system time. So if we want to print only the time zone, we can use the sys.timezone function, as you can see in line four of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that my time zone is located in Europe or in Berlin. Now let's assume that we want to change this time zone in R or in R Studio. Then we can use the sys.setEnv function, as you can see in line six of the code. And within this function, we need to specify the TC argument. And in this case, I want to set my time zone to GMT. So if you run line six of the code, the time zone will be changed for this R session. And then if we run the same syntax as in the previous lines of code, so the sysTime function and the sysTimeZone function, you will see a difference. Because if you run the sysTime function, as you can see in line eight of the code, you can see that the time in the time zone GMT is returned. So currently it's 4 p.m. in the time zone GMT. Similar to that, we can also use the sysTimeZone function to return only the time zone. And then you can see that our time zone that we are using now is GMT. Please note that this time zone will be reset once you are restarting your RStudio session. So if you want to change the time zone once again, you would have to run the sys.setEnv function once again at the beginning of your new RStudio session. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.